What else? I have to give this show some love because. Really? Just because wow. you're not going to like it. Okay. You well, didn't well, watch The Circle. I told you to watch The Circle. You didn't watch it. The Circle. I talked around the show. You What's didn't watch The Circle, one man? Many. The Circle was the Netflix show, reality show where you are quarantined in your room. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you oh, can yeah. only communicate with people through social media and you can catfish them and, and lie about right. it. Right. Is there a new season up? No. You didn't watch that show. I haven't watched it. The show that you've probably seen in your peripherals. Yeah. Which is the word I was looking for earlier. Is Love is Blind. Have you heard of this show? I have not even heard of this. Oh. What does this do? So Love is Blind okay. is a show sure. where they took, I think, 15 dudes, 15 girls. Or 15 dudes are in this. All right, so 30 people. 30 people. 15 dudes are in their own little cool little mansion. 15 girls are in their little cool little mansion. And then at. Why is it always got to be a mansion? It's not a mansion. It's just a big house. Right. right I get where it. they got to live. You got 15 people. I would hope they put 15 people in the mansion as opposed to a three bedroom house. And, I know, but these and, dating shows, it's always some like weird, shitty mansion up on fucking uh, Mount Olympus that they rent no, for a month. It's, it's like, actually a Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Yeah, that, some okay. terrible property uh, in Mexico. You, Bachelor in Paradise, <laughs> some kind of like, it's always some kind of weird, shitty that's falling down. That's where an aspect of the show is. I'm not sure if that's where the initial house was, where they meet, because the whole concept of it, and it's an experiment, they call it the experiment. And what the experiment is, is that there are 15 pods, right? They call them pods. What the fuck's a pod? A pod looks like, it's like a little room with a couch, right? Carpeting, nice. And then there's a wall. That is like a thin wall that you sure. can see like a shadow. Okay. But and you can't see the person you visually. You can't see the person visually. But you can see their curve or their their outline of their body. I feel like you can see the outline of their body and you can hear them. So for the first four, five, seven days, ten Man, days. I would fucking murder this. You would yes, murder. You would. My voice. Are you kidding you me? You would murder. You would not want to choose this voice. You would murder. And so for they've all. Is it agreed. dating? You have to agree if you want to keep going on the show, you have to agree to marry the person before seeing them. Love is blind. People right? are crazy. So People you, are fucking insane. So, so the guys were People all... People are fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. So the guys, you know, if you connected with a certain girl. What is wrong with the world, man? What, how sick are this people? This is one of the most popular shows. People love this show. I got news for you. Marriage, isn't it a, is a fucking bond or a commitment or a standing before God? This is God? an experiment. It's a game show now. It's, a, this it's is now marriage. The institution of marriage has been turned into a game show by some sick fucking creep. This is an experiment. What the fuck is wrong with the world? To see if love is blind. This is okay. fucking stupid. Who's the producer on this shit? This show Chris is ge- Colleen. This show is genius because this show does what other dating shows like The Bachelor and all those dumb other shows don't do. Is once they're uh, out of the pot, because you ask the person to marry, you have to make a choice. Only five guys, I think, connected with a woman enough to want to marry them and go through the experiment. I'm not, it, and so you, you have to get officially get married. No, no, no. Don't ruin the show for people. Okay. Okay, hey, you're reading I'm, something. You didn't watch it. You're reading something. Oh, is that a spoiler? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, if they finally ended up. Gotcha. So five guys <laughs> ask the girls they've connected with to marry, right? Some, there were three. Fucking losers. There were three girls that were pining over one guy because this guy was so charming through the, the translu- the, through the wall. They say yes. Then they show each other what they look like. Okay. Okay. Then you go on a honeymoon, right? And the women are in, they're in on marry, being married too. They've chosen to be like, yeah, I'll get married. I'll, I'll try this experiment. I'll get married. Like it's some kind of a fucking, like it's like going to a nightclub, like one night. And it's so fucking stupid because it's, it's a, not really getting married because you get married and then you get divorced like, or you don't, or you get an annulled. So it's not really getting married. This show is dumb. I personalize it. It's fucking lame. Yeah, I don't I mean, know why you personalize it. Just, because people are fucking crazy. They're they're like deciding to shit on the institution of marriage or take. They're lightly. not just getting married right away, right when they see each other. There's a lead up, just like every show, right? So it's like 35 days to the wedding. So you have two. Yes, it's like they, some. It's like a weirder, more awful version of the Bachelor. But what's great about it, and why I finally came around of like I understand why people like this show is they go on their honeymoon and they love each other. They're like, because everyone's good looking. You got cast in this show. There were some not good looking people. One of the girls said yes to a guy in the pod, but then once she saw him, she was out. She was not as into him. Okay. Okay. But 
what I loved about the show was these people connect, they go on their honeymoon, and then when their honeymoon is, or not their honeymoon, but their little vacation after they first see each other. Fantasy suite then or they whatever. go and put them in living together for a month or leading up to the wedding in Atlanta, <laughs> right? Where now you can have your phone. <laughs> like ridiculous. Man. So... It's what absurd. I love about it is you're taking, <laughs> you're taking. You shouldn't watch this, man. You're fucking supporting this. Yeah, it's a great show because. Where is your integrity? What, like, what are about, you talking about? About marriage. Like people are, they yeah. are destroying the institution of marriage by making. Half this country gets divorced. Give me the divorce rates, right? So no, but this is different. It's like it's it's like trivializing the most important decision. In an adult person's life. This person has made a choice to get take into marriage, it quickly. To take marriage lightly. Everyone make, yeah, everyone does that already. There are people that enter into marriage in a light, hard way. This is accelerating the process. So if I can be a person and let that happen to me, like, okay, I realize that these people aren't falling in love in a week. I'm just going to see what happens. That's okay. You're not, I'm not taking down you're, society. You're missing, yeah, you're missing the grotesque. bigger test. You're missing the bigger point. Grotesque. You're missing the bigger point, Vanger. This because is, you hold marriage in a high regard because you, you never— You don't? I do. Okay. But if I want to watch someone that's decided to accelerate the process— Why do you want to watch it? Because it's interesting to see how they react. It's like a car wreck. It's you like don't, because you can't believe people are taking such a serious institution— Maybe. So fucking lightheartedly. Maybe. And can I tell you why I like the show before you shit on everything I've just said? Yes. Okay. On The Bachelor, when they get married... Which is another terrible fucking show. Most popular reality show in the country. When, but that doesn't... And brings mean, people together by watching it and enjoying it. You're always so like, if it's the most, it's the most popular, that means, that means it must be good for the world. It's not. It's good for the world in that people come together to laugh or, or people watch People come together show. to recognize and realize how terrible they are. That's fine, but that's a positive aspect of it. It's not. Yes, it is. It's Why? Not. This shit is bad for America. When I'm talk- my girl watches this shit, it's the only time I feel like leaving her. <laughs> well, I walk in and I'm like, "Why does my girl?" And you are in love with this, this person, shit. and it's your number one, and you're gonna stay with her forever. And she watches and she loves it because it's her guilty pleasure. But that doesn't mean that it's okay. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't mean that it is okay for my girl to you were watch. You on a reality show, but not about getting married, or no, not about falling but about in love, about starving yourself to try and survive and manipulate and lie to people to win. Yeah, to make money. <laughs> yes, this yeah. is this is trivializing the art of love. And marriage, which is... That's what dating shows have been doing for 30 years, I, 40 years. It's awful. Okay, I'm telling you that it's opinion. bad. Great. What I'm telling you that is interesting about this show is at some point they send you back and you get into your real world you were before you were on this show. Before this bullshit. Before this Correct. F- false, fake, sad Terrible so for society the ex- project. The experiment is is love blind, right? That was the experiment. Got okay. It. So once you connect with someone through talking, and it's really true, when you're just when you can't see another person and you're just talking to them, you open up. Do you disagree? I mean, is that called online dating? No. It's not? Because you're not in person. Got it. So, so you're if saying I'm in a room different. with you and you're on the other side and you're a girl and I'm just talking to you, I'm a little more open as mm-hmm. opposed to when they were in the same room and you're looking at me. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. So do you disagree? I don't. I don't have. I don't. I've never Are operated you just out about anything. You're not going to try and think about it for a second. No, I've never operated from a place. I don't know personally. I don't have. I don't have any experience with holding back because I'm in front of someone. But I, don't I would have argue. That. A lot of the population. Well, does. you just asked me. I'm saying personally, I don't understand okay, what that fair. means. That's fine. Like I'm if saying- you're in front of me, well, let's have a chat. Like I'm going to be the same if I don't see. They, I'd rather actually see you. Yeah, for most, it's real. For most people, sex when sex is out of the equation, they ease up. I like me. Like if that happens for me, then yeah. If I don't, if I already know that it's ruled out, we're not going to have sex. I'm a little more open. Okay, all I'm saying is that if you are talking to a person through a wall and that's your only interaction with them, you're open. Yeah. And then when you see each other, you change. Yeah. That's just human beings. Yeah. That's what this show kind of proves. And then what I liked is that, okay, this girl, one of the girls is, you know, smoking hot. Mm-hmm. She lured the guy in that everybody wanted because she was cool. She's an ex-tank mechanic. 
right? Oh. And they decided to get married. Then they met each other. He loved her. She was hot. But then when they got going, they open up that she doesn't really have a place to live. And she has really bad credit. And this guy owns a home. And he's got great credit. And now there's friction because they did it. The, now that this show has gone to the real world, it's different. Huh. And they're meeting parents. And the wow. parents don't want him to get married. And he's now like, fuck, this girl's not the girl I thought when it was just a fantasy. And they do that with five different couples. And it's pretty <laughs> fascinating to see how they connected yeah. on the show. Yeah. But then once they were in the real world and they had their social media and they could look at their phone that so it's just a dating show that takes you through the stages that other dating shows don't and i thought it was very interesting you can go shit on it it's fine why is the whole why do they have to do the whole like you have to get married thing i don't understand because it's leading up to the wedding so the whole show is the 40 days leading up to the wedding it's also part of the whole like human tragedy of like yeah. oh my god these people are crazy enough to marry each other after not seeing each other that draws viewers in <sighs> The whole concept that part, of that I is didn't really, really that, that part fucks me up. I wasn't yeah. into it. If you can get by that to just see them in their everyday lives, the whole fish out of water thing, or like this isn't ex this. What I'm, what you're telling me, or what you're talking about, makes a lot of sense, and I'm really into it. And then you get behind the, it, let's call it behind the curtain. So yeah. you re in front of the curtain, you don't know, and you think, and you think this is the guy, and then you, but then we got to do this over dramatic. Let's get married thing yeah. that I hate. But then because that the season finale of the show is all the weddings, and you have to choose if you want to say yes or no based on the last forty days of what you've learned about the person from the pods this to is the, the the honeymoon to the real world to living together to your friends to your families, and then they. The culmination is wow. you get in a wedding dress, you get sued, you go up, you you know, and and you say yes or no, and there were people saying no in front of everybody's family, and people are getting left at the altar, and, and that's that, what people want to watch: if, the car crash. Yeah. If I did that show, I'd feel so empty after. I I'd feel like I was on the Truman and Show. And there's people that are it doing it like just because the they'll do show. anything to be on TV. Yeah, uh, anything. But that experience if I, would be <laughs> fun. Nick Lachey. If hosts I was that, single. Yeah? Yeah, but they're not – Nick Lachey and his wife, Vanessa Lachey, host it, and they're not even in it that much. They're not very good hosts. They're – they you know, it's not like the other reality show hosts where they're there all the time. They uh, – they're okay. It's Nick just an, Lachey it's, and your wife, that's what you've chosen to do with your <laughs> job is to create a fucking show that mocks the institution of marriage. Have a nice I don't know fucking if it, life. It man. does mock it, but it more is like <laughs> you are trivializing and mocking this, one of the most important decisions of a human being's life. It, it, it's I don't know why I have such issues with it. It bums me out. I don't. And you're never going to get married. Love is a. F <sighs> it's the it's dude. It saved my life. Love. Yeah. It's. It's why I exist. Like, I am driven in my life by love, by my son, mm -hmm. by Courtney, by you, by this show. It's it's just not something to, like, it's just not something to, to, to trivialize or to, like, use as a reason to get people to watch a television show so I can sell soap. <laughs> by for Procter and it just it just I, the whole it's just fucked up it's just dark. I think you're in me. the minority and and it's fine. It's Europe. It's Europe. I guess I mean maybe a lot of people can relate to it. You ask how many people divorce in the United States. Forty to fifty percent of married couples in the United States divorce. So but maybe people are getting married when they, there isn't really true love involved because yeah. and maybe they watch this show and they're like oh I kind of know what that what that's people like. are watching it for the train wreck. Yeah, because there's some train wrecks. There's a girl on there that. People drink, they change. Yeah. Shane Powers is a person that knows this for a fact. Yeah, I'm completely well, different. Everybody, yeah, everybody, everybody gets changes, Goosey but, and Lucy. But, correct. But to the point where, like, there's one girl, the one girl who is said yes and isn't really into the guy physically, she's into him as a buddy. But she wants to stay on the show, so she goes with it. I, that's the, I'll watch The Bachelor, and I'm like, they start to fucking convince themselves that they're... 
in love and then they're like obsessed with like getting further or getting a rose and it's like it's not even really about fucking what they're, they're like i if i were to go on the bachelor let's say i break up yeah and i like fuck it i'll go on the bachelor in one week or the first time i had a one-on-one with the broad i would be like yeah i'm out on you <laughs> like you, you, I'm not interested. Why yeah. doesn't any dude ever in the history of the Bachelor go? I've had my thing. Uh-huh. I've got my one on one. These guys are douchebags. Yeah. You're a douche wanner. Yeah. You want some douchey dude. I'm not that guy. Mm-hmm. And I would look at the production and go, I'm out. Mm-hmm. So where's my fucking bag? I'm out of here. <laughs> Why doesn't that happen? Producers are constantly drinking, Producers. creating images in their because head. Because I, I want the rose. Why yeah. do I want the rose? Because I want to stay on TV. Because I want to win one more week. When does advancing in a competition weaved in with the concept of I in order to advance in this competition I have to continue to feel something or try to manufacture a feeling about something which is love which is the most important thing we have in the world to me it just seems fucking awful there's